What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you step-by-step -step exactly how to play that version of Memories on Fingerstyle Guitar that I just played for you right here. If you haven't seen it already, this version is actually a simplified version of the cover that I posted last week that you can check out right here. I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step through everything you need to play this entire song. The song structure you can see is gonna be chorus, verse, pre-chorus, another chorus, and then end on a post-chorus which is four different guitar parts, and I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through every single one of those today. You can see the time cones right here. If you wanna make this easier for you to learn, you can subscribe to our Patreon to get the tabs by clicking here, or I'll also put a link in the description below. Today's Patreon shoutouts go to M. Dong and Simon Saban. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing to our Patreon. And another shout-out to Randall Poole for suggesting this song. One final thing, if you are looking for a step-by-step -step guide to fingerstyle guitar, you can check out my finger picking program by clicking here, or I'll put another link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna play this with a capo on the fifth fret. You can play it without a capo, but I find it sounds nicest on the fifth fret, so that's where I'm gonna do this tutorial. And all the frets I mention are gonna be relative to the capo. So this is the open, that's first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So we're gonna start with our third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then the pinky on the third fret of the second string, and then play sixth, third, and second. And that's our first chord. And for all the chords in this song, you're gonna to wanna to let it ring out as much as possible. So instead of playing the bass note and then releasing it when you go to the next note, you wanna hold that bass note. To give a bass line as well as your melody, and that's really what's gonna fill in your sound here. Okay, so you're gonna play that first chord. Then we're gonna do a open, first, third, with hammer-ons. So you're doing that run twice. And that's how it starts. And then on that last third fret, you're gonna also play your thumb on the open fourth. So it's gonna be. Then go to open fifth. Open fourth, fourth fret on the fourth string. And I'll usually do a little slide. That's optional, but it does give it a little bit of an extra sound to it that makes it a little nicer. So that first bar is. Then moving to the second bar, we're gonna put second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and play six, four, three, two. And then that's going to be your starting chord for that bar. And then we're going to do an open third string, second fret, hammer on, and then second string open. We're going to do that run a few times. We're going to do a... So do that three times, and then second fret, pull off to open. So those two bars together now. Then moving to the next bar, you're gonna do second finger on the third fret of the fifth string and first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then we're gonna play that fourth string in this rhythm, alternating with the second fret and the open string. So you got two pull-offs there, and then on that second pull-off, you're gonna move this finger to the sixth string. 
So. Then to second fret on the fifth string, then open fourth string again twice. So. Then back to this third fret of the fifth string and the open fourth. And then slide up to the fourth and the fifth frets. That part there. Then I end that first part with the slap on the sixth string there. That's just a nice easy slap with the side of your thumb to give it that percussive click. And for this whole thing, you're just following the vocal melody, so if you get lost, just think of how the actual song sounds or pull it up and listen to it, and you can follow the vocal melody so that you know where to play. So what we've got so far now sounds like this. So that's the first half of the chorus. The second half of the chorus is almost the exact same thing, just with a few slight changes. The first three bars are identical, but then we're just going to change it up a little bit in the fourth bar. So again, we're going to play. And this is where it changes. Then you do that same slide up, but then you just play the fourth string a few more times. And then end on the final chord, which is a third fret of the sixth string, and then the fourth and the third strings. So then that last bar is now. So then all together, the entire chorus now sounds like this. Now moving into the second part, we're going to move into the verse, which is going to sound like this. Okay, so starting with the third fret on the sixth string, and I'm going to play that with the third finger, and then the open second string. Then pinky on that third fret, again letting all these chords ring out with that bass note. So open, three, three, open, open first string, open. Then move this second finger up to the second fret of the third string. And then three, two. Open sixth string and first fret of the second string. Then you're going to move the second finger down to the second fret of the fifth string and do. 
So fifth string, fifth string, fourth, third. And again on the second fret there. And then that's the first two bars of the verse. Then moving on, we're grabbing a C chord minus this second finger. And we're just gonna play the fifth string and the second string. And then you're gonna go move that third finger down to the third fret of the sixth string. And then play second fret on the third string and the open fourth string. Then move your second finger down to the fifth string. And then play the open fourth string. So then you add that with that bar. Then grab C chord, this time without this first finger, and play the third, fourth, and fifth strings. Then the third, then the second. Then move your second finger down to the second fret of the third string. And that's the first and that's the first half of the verse. So all together, now we've got this. Now, just like the chorus, the second half of the verse is actually very similar. Then we're gonna do another lead in, open third string, hammer on on the second fret, and then play the exact same first bar. This time we're gonna do a slight change from the second bar. So that bar is almost the same, it's just this time we're doing So first, hammer on to third, first, open, open. Then this bar again is going to be the exact same as it was in the first time. the final bar of the verse is going to be very similar to the first half. Again, that C chord without the first finger, and then open third string, open second string, first fret second string, second fret third string, open fourth, open fifth. And then to end off the verse, we're going to do a harmonic up at the 12th fret relative to the capo, which is actually going to be the 17th fret. So to do this, all you got to do is put the side of your third finger right on top of the 17th fret, but not pressing down, and then just play the 4th and the 5th strings. And you got to make sure that this finger is over the 4th and the 5th string. So that's going to go right at the end of that bar, and that's just a cool little addition to make your playing sound more interesting. So that bar is going to be... So that part's kind of cool. And then if you add that in, now we can play the entire verse start to finish, and that's going to be like this.
And if you can play that, you can now play the entire verse. Then moving on to the third of four parts, the pre-chorus. It's going to sound like this. So this one should be the easiest and quickest part to learn so far of the song. I'm going to start third fret of the sixth string. Then open fourth, then second on the fifth, and the open third string. Then, so, Next bar, we've got second fret of the fourth string, and then we're gonna play the sixth, the fourth, and the third strings. That's our chord. Then our rhythm is on the third and second strings. Then you're gonna move the third finger down to the fourth fret of the fourth string, and play the open fourth and fifth. And play that fourth again. And then have a nice hammer on with that pinky onto the fifth fret. Your pinky's probably your weakest finger, but the only way to get it strong is by practicing it. So, so try this pinky hammer on and see how smooth a tone you can get. Then putting that together with the first bar. Then we're going to move on to 3rd fret of the 5th string, to 2nd fret of the 4th string, then open 4th and 6th strings, and then that same rhythm again that we've played. And if you'll notice here, I held these fingers on, again, to let our chords ring out but also because then this finger's in the right spot for the next bar. So you can take off this first finger on the next bar and play the fifth string and the third strings. And then third fret of the second string, then back to the open third, and then third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, open fifth and the fourth string. And then your last chord is this. So... And that's the end of the pre-chorus. So then we're going to put that all together and it's going to sound like this. So that was the third of four parts. Then, if you're playing it how I played it at the beginning of this video, you're going to play the chorus again here. So it's going to be chorus, verse, pre-chorus, then a second chorus. And then to end off the song, I'm going to teach you the post-chorus, which comes after that second one. So then the post-chorus is going to sound like this. So starting again on our favorite chord of this song, 3rd fret of the 6th string, and then playing 6th, 4th, and 3rd strings. And then we're going to go again to that 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Then move your 2nd finger to the 2nd fret of the 5th string. And then that pinky over to the 4th fret of the 3rd string. And then second finger on the second fret of the third string, and then the open fourth string as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're going to do open sixth in the next bar, second fret of the third string, open second string, hammer on to the first, and then back to the open. So that one's a bit of an arpeggiated chord there, a little bit of a run that gives it a nice sound. And then keeping the second finger on, second, open. Putting that together with the first bar. Then we're going to move into another run, starting on the third fret of the fifth string to second fret of the third string, open second, hammer on to first, back to the open. So, and then the same thing from the last bar. Then C chord minus your first finger and play third, fourth, and fifth strings. Third fret of the second string. And then end with a third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then your last chord of the song third fret of the sixth string and play three and then play the sixth, the fourth, and the third strings. And that's the end of the song. So all together that post chorus sounds like this. And that's how you finish the song. If you put all those parts together in chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then post-chorus, you can play the entire song exactly as I just played that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already to get more videos like this and make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it, what songs you wanna see next, and I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.